Today we're going to measure the efficiency of this kettle. I think it's a Hamilton Beach 2 liter, maybe 1.6 liter kettle. So, as many of you may have heard, Timothy Thrapp bought a used kettle in the Philippines for 20 pesos, it's about a dollar, and it measured at least 300% efficient. Now, these heat pumps that everybody's got now, they cost $4,000 and they're only 200% efficient. So today we have a liter of water. Turn that around. There's a filament here. But it's about a liter of water, and we're going to try boiling it for two minutes. So this candy thermometer doesn't go low enough, so we're just going to use this to measure it. So we'll say about 56.6 degrees. So we're going to write that down. Fifty six point six degrees Fahrenheit, one liter of water. Okay, and my kettle is cool. Show you it's cold. Seventy nine, seventy eight, eighty. So we're gonna put this kettle. We got a timer here. Two minutes. And as we start this, we're going to plug it in. Okay, so plug it in. And I'll hit start. Oh, and I gotta turn the kettle on. So, we got two amp clamps here. We're reading 12 amps. Hopefully these wires don't melt. And this one here, 11.56. We'll go with uh, this one, 11.95 amps. And we got 115.4 volts. Ooh, these are getting hot. 115.4 volts. Hopefully these don't melt. These are different modes. Low pass filter. It's just a Chinese clamp, so not very accurate. Okay. So everything's shut off. These are starting to smell hot. Measure the temperature of this water. The candy thermometer. So this is 120.6. See, 
What's it say? Yeah, 121.3. So we'll say 120, 20 degrees Fahrenheit after 120 seconds. Let's see what our candy thermometer says. It says. Hundred and five ten. I think that was hundred and twenty. Yeah, because that line would be hundred and twenty-five. I think it was about hundred and twenty. So we'll say hundred and twenty. So our watts. Well, let's see. The kettle off. It is hundred and twenty. 1.2 volts. And 21 dropped a bit there. So all we need to know is our watts. So 115.4 volts times 11.95 amps is 1379 watts and we can just use this online calculator so we have one liter which is one kilogram of water and we just put our initial temperature and our final temperature and 1379 watts so we would have 89% efficient. So if we wanted 100% efficient, our power consumption would have to be, let's see, this calculator will work. 100% efficient would be 1230 watts. So 1230 divided by 115 we would want to be drawing 10.7 amps instead of 12 so that's it this kettle is not very efficient 90% it's not as good as an electric heater uh, it'll be interesting to uh, measure a few other kettles and perhaps even get a kilowatt meter to make the measuring process easier.